Uh, let's start with the very first line. Greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Uh, the, the middle part, for lack of a better word, is kind of an expression uh, saying that um, greed, and we don't have another uh, we don't have another choice to say instead of greed, or greed is uh, the best word to choose. So greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Um, so if you took out the middle, it would be the same sentence. Greed is good. Greed is good. Greed, comma, for lack of a better word. Greed, we can't think of a better word to say than, okay. So greed is good. Uh, Wall Street. Uh, where is it? Uh, at the very end of the next paragraph, where it says Wall Street's movie Canon. Canon, C A N O N, the same as Canon cameras. Uh, Canon actually means like very uh, great legends, stories that are very important through history, uh, and it doesn't have to be real stories. Uh, so canon actually comes from an old English uh, terminology about like some old tales from a long time ago, some old stories. So uh, it's saying that this is Wall Street movie canon, meaning it's, it's like legendary Wall Street movies. Uh, also the first sentence of that paragraph, fertile ground. Uh, so fertile, meaning it has a lot of nutrition that's good for growing plants or flowers or things like that. Ground, like the ground. So it's saying uh, uh, it, it can grow a lot of opportunities. Okay, fertile ground, the, the first sentence of that paragraph, Wall Street wrongdoing has been fertile ground for Hollywood over the years. So meaning uh, fertile ground, giving a lot of opportunities. So uh, everything that Wall Street does bad um, makes a great story for Hollywood. <laughs> the next paragraph, lineage. Do you guys know what's lineage? Lineage is like heritage, heritage. Mm -hmm. or uh, heritage or ancestors, something like that. History. Mm -hmm. Jargon, jargon. Uh, in the same paragraph, the third paragraph, I guess, uh, and second sentence, jargon is basically technical terms. Ryan Gosling, you guys know who's Ryan Gosling? People love him. You ever seen the movie The Notebook? Uh, only one. <laughs> and, and you love him? <laughs> he's, he's very famous because he's, he's like, um, he's, he's, he's a great actor and uh, people think he's very handsome. And uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, you should look. <laughs> I, I promise, people love him. Uh, and he has yeah, nice oh, nice God. muscles and, and chest and abs. <laughs> and, uh, anyhow, uh, <laughs> next a uh, hot shot. A hot shot is someone that is kind of like uh, a pro at something, and, and uh, they're they're great at something. Uh, sometimes we kind of use it sarcastically. Uh, so, you know, if you're um, talking about, like, um, maybe your coworker is really good and has this really special skill, and then you're telling everybody, oh, he's like a hotshot at doing this, yeah. meaning, like, he's a, he's a pro at it, yeah, he's the best. Um, is it no? Yes. Really okay to say he's hot shot doing this. You can, yeah, he's a hot shot at doing this, or he's a hot shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the next paragraph. The next part, the biggest finance movie before the big short was Leo DiCaprio's Stock Turner and Stock Scam Artist. So, um, a stock scam artist is someone who is uh, selling uh, fake or risky stocks. And a stock turner, 
Uh, basically, someone that, that turns something very quickly is they, they're making sales very fast or making business very fast. So uh, stock turner means he's, he's just selling stocks very quickly. And then the next sentence, the film features a pivotal scene. Pivotal means a very important scene that changes the movie. In which mentor Matthew McConaughey uses a carnival ride as a metaphor, right? Uh, from cashing out their stock winnings. Uh, so when you cash out something, that means you, you win something and you get the money. You take the money. So if you win the lottery, you cash out. You, you know, give them your lottery ticket and they give you the money. You cash out. Um, Matthew McConaughey, do you guys know who's Matthew McConaughey? He's also from Texas. <laughs> Uh, so the next line, keep the clients in the Ferris wheel and it goes. The park is 24 7, 365, every decade, every damn century. Uh, 24 7 is how we say 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Yeah, 24 7. Huh? No, we just say 24 7 straight. Yeah, 24 7. So, uh, a lot of times businesses will talk about, you know, we're open 24 7. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every day, every 24. hour. 24 7. Just, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 24 7, just straight. 365, just another way of saying all year. 365 days in a year, right? Uh, <laughs> the next paragraph talks about trading places. Have you, have you ever seen that movie? I love that movie. It's a classic. Uh, but the very last sentence of that uh, paragraph, he sees right through the heads we win, tails you lose nature of the business. That's uh, heads we win, tails you lose. Do you know what they're talking about? When you flip a coin, it's heads or tails. Mm -hmm. Like when you, you know, flip a coin and then Heads, you win. Tails, you lose. So it's actually a, a very common expression that we say. Heads, you win. Tails, you lose. Yeah. Tails. Uh, the, so if you have like a coin, a lot of times we, you know, like here people will do like rock, scissors, paper. So uh, to make it more simple, sometimes we just choose heads or tails so that the heads has a face. Tails is just the other side. Yeah. And you flip. Catch it, heads or tails, and then someone will call it, and then it's heads. So it means random? Uh, it means uh, it's 50 50 and um, there's, no, there's no gray area, there's, there's, mm -hmm. there's no um, confusing area, it's just either you win or lose. Yeah. And the next quote. Not the first line, but the next line sounds to me like you guys, uh, a couple of bookies. Bookies, or bookie, as a term for someone that, that they basically take illegal betting, like illegal bets or gambling, uh, and um, you know they just keep track of it for people, and they get a commission off of it, uh, and uh, so it's it's kind of a term that is seen negatively if someone is a bookie. Um, and, you know, the old reputation for a bookie was like they, they worked for like uh, a, a mafia or a mob or a gang and that they were basically making money for the mafia or mob. And that's all I have. Thank you.